Hi everyone, my name is Aras Azadi and I'm the CEO of Abicana Inc. We're a Canadian biotech company focused on cannabinoid-based medicine. And today I'm going to provide an overview of who is Abicana and what is our products. In general, Abicana is about five years old. We started off as a drug development and pharmaceutical company focused on cannabinoids. But over the past years, we've expanded our horizon, we've advanced our products, and we've brought products into the commercial markets in various places. Today, we can comfortably say that we are a commercial company in various markets. We have a multinational footprint, which includes United States, Canada, South America, and Europe. We are in commercial partnerships with Shoppers Drug Mart, which is the largest pharmacy chain here in Canada. And we've established what we believe is an industry-leading scientific platform in which we have products that we've developed, optimized, have taken through preclinical and clinical trials, and have again brought into the market. We focus on world-class collaborations. That includes our uh, relationship with, with some of the top academic and clinical institutions in Canada. That includes some major pharmaceutical partnerships. That includes our collaboration with Johnson & Johnson as, as we are part of a Johnson & Johnson incubator called J-Labs. And we, we focus really on the evidence-based approach of cannabinoids. We also have a vertically integrated infrastructure which allows us to cultivate, extract, and in some cases, purify the cannabinoids that we put into our finished products. Our finished product categories range in three different areas. One, cosmetics. The cosmetic category is really topical products that are designed to provide support from a dermatology perspective. These products are commercial in several markets as over-the-counter cosmetic products under the brand of Pure Earth. Our second product category, which is a very important product category for us today, is Rofido. This is our medical line of products. This is medical cannabis, so these are non-indication specific products that are offered through cannabis legislations, including the Canadian ones such as medical cannabis. And then finally is the, the pharmaceutical pipeline, which is our indication specific drugs that are registered for particular clinical pathologies. As I mentioned, we believe we have the, the industry leading scientific platform for cannabinoid drug development, and we've spent the past few years through our own scientific team developing a proprietary lines of products, uh, formulations, delivery mechanisms, preclinical models, clinical models, and all of this is owned by Abicana. So we are really an intellectual property powerhouse. And this platform has already resulted in several products that are now commercial or in clinical stages. The company today has over 10 PhDs in medical doctors. That is the reason why we take a very serious approach to our evidence-based products. Our R&D headquarters, as I mentioned, is part of the Mars Discovery District in Canada, which is similar to the Silicon Valley in the United States from a biotech perspective. And we're part of a Johnson & Johnson incubator called J-Labs. Our collaborations in Canada include the University of Toronto's Faculty of Pharmacy, which is the most important academic institution in Canada, UHN, the most important medical institution in Canada, and other key institutions such as the University of Guelph. So we've really partnered with the best of the best to develop our products, to test our products, and in many cases to clinically assess our products. As I mentioned, Pure is our cosmetic line. This is a further look into the product line. These are cosmetic products that are leveraging off of hemp-derived CBD, and that's precisely why it's an over-the-counter consumer product line. What makes Pure unique is that the 13 SKUs have been developed and optimized by the Avicana scientific team, in where we are combining CBD with other natural excipients and other natural ingredients for particular benefits. Example, for acne, we've, we've developed a product line that has CBD, rosemary extract, and tea tree oil in combination to provide support for oily skin and acne. These products are uniquely uh, commercialized in various markets as over-the-counter consumer or cosmetic products, and in markets such as Canada under medical cannabis or adult use cannabis products as well. We have registered these products with the European Union Cosmetic Portal. We have registered these products in several other markets, including LATAM as well. What makes this line truly unique is the clinical trials that we have conducted and completed. We conducted clinical trials on three of the SKUs with about 50 patients per product last year. We are now publishing the results, but we are taking the, the, the results, which were very positive from both a safety and efficacy perspective, we're using this data and the results of that for marketing purposes. This makes Pura the only consumer product line or CBD skincare line that we know of in the world that has finished human results. So again, we're taking our evidence-based approach even on our consumer over-the-counter products. Our medical category is called Rofido. And for Rofido, 
we have developed what we believe is the most advanced medical line of products that is available today in the Canadian market. It is already available in the Colombian market and we're expanding that into several other markets. We've taken a, a, a typical drug development process, which means we've taken products, we've developed the formulations. These are not your basic MCT oil formulations that everybody else has in the market. These are products that are designed for optimized delivery, enhanced absorption, stability, for accurate dosing, and I've gone through preclinical and clinical results that demonstrates further efficacy or even further stability of these products. We have taken, again, a very, very serious drug development process to this, and that's led to the products being developed and optimized and commercial now today in various markets. The products that are offered in various ranges and deliveries, that are offered in various ranges of cannabinoids, meaning CBD only or CBD THC in various ratios, are designed to really treat comorbidities meaning anxiety, depression, appetite, pain, in context of various clinical pathologies that could range from dermatology to uh, neurology, oncology, and pain as well. So again, these products are not indication specific. They're allowed their support for symptom management and for comorbidities. Again, what makes this line truly unique is the scientific approach we've taken to it, an evidence-based approach we've taken to it. These are non-inhalation products, meaning we're delivering the medicinal benefits of cannabis in a sustained way, in a, in a consistent way, in an accurately dosed way without inhalation. Total, there's about 20 SKUs, of which about 10 are now commercialized in Canada. We had a very successful launch for, of Rofido with the largest pharmacy chain in Canada called Medical Cannabis by Shoppers Drug Mart, in which we had a very interesting results in, in, in a late Q4 when we launched the products. It's very interesting to see that majority of our sales are actually to women. Majority of our sales, about 90 plus, 90 plus percent of our sales are to adults older than the age of 30, which is, which is a complete contradiction to the adult use market in which majority of those products are sold to men between the ages of 20 and 30. Meaning with Rofido, we were successfully able to develop, target, and deliver medical cannabis to the audience that are looking at cannabis for medical purposes or wellness purposes rather than just inhalation and intoxication purposes such as getting you know the, the benefits of adult use so again we had a very successful launch with shoppers drug mart and we're taking the learnings and the success of that and the products now into the much larger market segment in canada which is the adult use market Role will still be offered as a medical or wellness product line for the for people that are seeking to get the benefits of cannabis in a non-inhalation, the non-stigmatized way. And the adult use market being substantially larger gives Avicano the opportunity to be much more successful from a market perspective. This is really for patients or for consumers that are again looking for those medical benefits or wellness benefits, but don't want to go through the process of the documentation and the prescription through the medical system. We've also launched the Rofido formulary products in Colombia under the magisterial model, which is a compound pharmacy model. We've established our own laboratory that is GPP certified for that. We, this is our formulations, but it's also our own raw materials from our vertical integration in Colombia, which really makes this a seed to patient. So basically from the beginning, from the seed, all the way to the finished product that goes to the patient is delivered by Avicana. And we're implementing the, this model as a proof of concept in Colombia, and we're expanding that into the other parts of LATAM. So again, a biotech company, a pharmaceutical company, but we are commercial with prescription and medical products in, in already two markets. Getting into our pharmaceutical pipeline, this is, this is our drug development process. We have really three categories that we, we take for drugs. One is generics. So we take already registered pharmaceutical drugs and we're producing them within the same standards under pharmaceutical GMP standards, but we're producing them at a substantially lower price considering that we're vertically integrated and we're leveraging off of our infrastructure in South America. The second category is phytotherapeutics or natural prog prog drug, drug registrations where in South America are called phytotherapeutics. And we have several drugs that are in registration stage now. So the generics and the phytotherapeutics will be actually registered in late 2021, and the second half of the products will be registered in early 2022. So we're already very close to commercialization and registration of those drugs. And then the third category is our own indication-specific drugs that are going through clinical development. And two particular specific areas that we're targeting, one is epidermolysis bullosa, which is a rare disease for skin. It's essentially a childhood disease. 
And second is neuropathic pain with respect to sickle cell disease, which are both going into phase two clinical trials at this stage. So again, we've always been a pharmaceutical company, but we've taken advantage of our scientific platform, know-how, and advanced products to bring those products into the market. Our clinical development pipeline demonstrates what has already been completed, which is the cosmetic trials. Those are now complete. Uh, we have real world evidence studies that are being conducted on the role phyto products. Since they're already commercial, we're allowed to generate data and are working with the top clinical institutions in Canada to do so. And then our pharmaceutical pipeline for the indication specific rare diseases that are in various stages of clinical trials. I had spoken. A quick look at our vertical integration in South America and Colombia. We are, again, fully vertically integrated. We, are, we manage and, and produce our own cultivated cannabis, our own extracted cannabis and isolated cannabis in some cases. Everything we do is GACP and GAP compliant. Our capacity is about 480,000 square feet and about 30 tons of biomass a year, which we are producing at between five to 10 cents a gram. So a substantial discount to our US and Canadian counterparts. We are USDA organic certified. And we're currently producing industrial scale CBD, CBG, a rare cannabinoid, and, C and, and THC that we're exporting as raw materials in various markets. But we're also producing these, using these products for our own produced finished products that are manufactured in South America, which again includes cosmetics, phytotherapeutics, and pharmaceutical drugs. We also have a, have a seed division that is producing feminized seeds of hemp and cannabis that we are exporting to several markets as well. So this is our supply chain and raw material business that's really designed to be its own independent business unit, but in addition to that, provide Avicana supply chain for its own finished drugs. Getting into the financial highlights of the company, uh, we, I, as a, from the peers perspective, we look at um, some of our peers, which include biotech and pharmaceutical companies in Canada, really as a biotech company, that's what we are. But we're also looking at the vertically integrated companies in Colombia that are that are named here, all of which we're trading at a substantial discount to. So it's very important for us to mention that we are a very tightly held company. The company is held about 40% from the management board. In addition to that, the rest of the shares, a large portion of the shares is actually held by institutions that the company is very close with, including several funds from around the world and pharmaceutical companies, including Tasty Pharmaceuticals in China. So the company is very, very tightly held with less than 36 million shares issued since inception in 2015. From a management perspective, I'm not going to bore you guys with the bios, but I can tell you that the entire management team has been together from the beginning. We all come from professional walks of life. Most of us, including myself, are management consultants from the biotech sector. Uh, we have others that come from the pharmaceutical sector, clinical sector, scientists, clinicians, medical doctors, lawyers and accountants. But we all come from professional walks of life and we're very happy to have worked together since inception. Uh, from a board of directors perspective, again, professionals, several Americans, some Canadians that all sit on uh, several boards and we again come from professional walks of life. Just touch on some major highlights. The commercialization of Roe Fido has gone very well in Canada on the medical sector. We expect early, recent, very, very soon commercialization to the adult use. Commercialization of our products into the UK and the United States with respect to Pura. Commercialization of our, our, our cosmetics also into Latam and to the various markets. So as you can see, a lot of our milestones for, for this year is really about expanding the revenue into various markets and commercialization. We spent the last couple of years developing the, the products, optimizing the products, setting up the regulatory approvals and commercialization pathways. And now, and we, we generated revenues for the first time last year, and now we're taking those revenues into a larger scale, and we believe the company will be profitable in 2021. Just some major investment highlights. We believe at this stage, the company is completely de-risked, considering that we are in commercial stage. Regulatory milestones have been already achieved across several markets and across several product lines. We have a diversified business model in which we have high margin revenue streams that, are, that range from cosmetics, to raw materials, medical and pharmaceutical, experienced management team, we've been together since the beginning, an intellectual property powerhouse, everything that we do is developed by Avicana, for Avicana, and we are actually licensing that intellectual property to several companies now. And everything that we do on the medical and pharmaceutical side is, is, is very disruptive in you know, supporting unmet needs from the medical side. We work with only world-class partnerships, which range from pharmaceutical companies to the largest academic and clinical institutions in Canada, 
And as mentioned earlier, we're completely vertically integrated in which we control the entire value chain. 